Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to port a Unity 3D game to a Android device. So basically, the how to do that, basically we're going to create a file called an APK. It's a file that allows an Android device to, um, to uh, read, well allows the uh, Android device to uh, player game basically uh the the apk file or or an app so basically i'm going to show you how to how i um port a uh unity 3d game to an android device i'm not going to cover uh putting it into a, the asset store i'm just going to cover uh getting the required files setting up to port to a android device in this scene i already have a game uh downloaded I got from the asset store I can post the uh, link below uh, if you want to get uh, this game is a pretty cool uh, package um, and I'm gonna use this game as a demonstration of how to port to a, a Android device right now I'm gonna go ahead and go to file then from file I'm gonna go to build settings then from build settings I'm gonna add open scene so it will allow me to uh, play the game if I don't I'm gonna get a blank screen which happened to me on my first game so trial and end trial and error nothing wrong with that you know you learn from our failures anyways uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to switch it from standalone PC and Mac to Android now, as soon as I selected that, you see I'm getting a whole bunch of errors. All right. See all these errors I'm getting? Because it's looking for the SDK. Now, how to um, do this, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to Edit. Then from Edit, I'm going to go to Preferences. Then from Preferences, I'm going to go to External Tools. Now, if as you see for Android this is all cleared out for SDK JDK and NDK now what I do is I only use the SDK and JDK I haven't used the NDK yet but I'm able to port games to your Android device just by using the SDK and JDK JDK so I'm gonna show you how to do that so what you will do is uh, you click download for SDK so I already have that open. So once you click download, it's going to take you to the Android Studio. So once you do that, once you goes there, you're going to download the Android Studio. Okay. Uh, and click on download, agree to terms, and then download Android Studio for Windows. If you have a Mac, just follow the steps for downloading for a Mac. I already have it download. Just follow the uh, the download, open it, install it. Remember the path that you saved the Android on there. Copy it onto your clipboard or onto your notepad because that's what you're going to use for the uh, to put onto the SDK. So remember that. Save it. Okay. So I already have mine saved. So I'm going to go browse and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have it saved onto my C drive as you see I have a lot of space <laughs> you get more space uh, select and click so remember you're selecting just the folder the Android folder you're not selecting nothing else okay select the Android folder that you saved it on or or just remember the the, the, the path that you um that you when um, you installed it it gave you actually for a path should save that path click on select boom I got it and I got it on there it will kick you out so it will kick you out if you have the wrong path or if it if it's not the path to the Android device just like I said make sure you 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 find the Android folder okay and then this then this copy it and put it on there or or just click browse and then just select the folder that that you download Android 
okay next it will be the JDK same thing click on download I already have it I have it here over here so for Mac I'm not using a Mac but for Mac you just click on this and then this uh, install it make sure you accept license agreement install it uh, I'm using Windows 64 already uh, uh, already have it installed it's, if I click it again it's gonna give me an error so um, you click on it install it uh, save it and then uh, follow the uh, installation of the of the Java and then I put it I also put this in the in, in, in C for programs files and then once you have done that or if you're using a Mac just make sure you find the path that you put it in or or save it then once that's done um, you go to you go back to unity click browse and I already have it so I like I said I went to my uh, I'm just gonna go back. I went to my program files since I already saved it on my program files, and I selected uh, Java. Selected Java, and then a sl uh, then a selected. See, yeah, for the path specified does not look like a valid JDK installation, so it's going to give you that that error message. It's a good thing I'm showing you this with an error instead of just showing you uh uh with it without the error so you see see what so it shows so basically i have to select the i'm gonna go back again um go to java double click java and i'm gonna select the jdk double click the jdk and then click select folder boom no error all right then once that's done you click the x clear and if, if this works by going build settings and then selecting Android, we shouldn't have no errors. And by golly, we don't have no errors. So click on switch to platform. And it's going to start switching it to the platform. It's going to start building, building up and switching to the uh, platform. Okay, now once that's done, Go to player settings, type in um, product name, I called it Space Blaster, whatever game you created, uh, just put in your product name and of course your company, whatever your, your company name um, uh, or whatever your name is, put that in there. Um, images, everything like that, that's just for uh, if you want to show images, but it's good good practice for um, if you're posting it to the Android store. We're not going to post it to the Android store, I'm just showing you how to put it onto a Android device so uh, on here uh, make sure for package name put this for docked I calm dot your game's name and then I set this up for uh, I just left this this settings alone and then uh, that is it that's all I did I didn't do, do nothing else on here so once you have that all that done like I said uh, product name um, you can put an image if you want um and then com dot the the game name and um and then you just leave the the these the, the, the settings sense i'm sorry you leave these settings alone and then uh click on uh build to create the apk now if you already have a android device plugged in to your pc or mac just click on build and run i don't have a have a Android device uh, uh, put in, but I already have a. I'm using something called BlueStack, which I'm going to show you. If you don't have an Android device, I'll show you uh, something that you can use to test your Android devices, or you can or or you can uh, send the APK file to your friend or uh, via email or email. Um, yourself and then find a android device and put it onto an android device to test it out so i'm just gonna click on save and it's gonna give me required api level 26 uh i'm guessing this is something new for 2018 or probably 2017 uh, so you click on use highest installed 
because I already did this before. So I'm um, going to click on use highs installed. When I clicked on update, keeps in looping me. So I just didn't click on update. Just click on use highs highs installed. And then once it's done, it's gonna uh, it's gonna pop up at you, um, letting you know uh, that's done. Uh, where you save the uh, file in. As you see here, so basically I'm gonna open up. I already have my blue stack open, so I can show you that that this works. So I already have this open, so I'm just gonna drag the APK file, my Space Blaster, into here to install it. Ready to have it installed. If all else, if this works, I should be able to play the game onto a blue stack because this acts just like a, a regular android de device boom all right i got it played so uh, in this video and i died hmm. yep uh so uh so in this video i showed you how to um install the required files so let me close out so we were on uh, PC or what I was I was on PC I switched it to um, Android I got errors so I closed it out and then I went to edit preferences then from preferences I went to external tools then from external tools I these were cleared out Android and and the Java JDK they, they were cleared out so I clicked on uh, download. I went to the um, went to Android Studio. Download Android Studio. Then installed it. Searched for it on my program file. Selected. Uh, went back onto uh, Unity. Select browse, and I selected the Android file, the Android folder itself, and I clicked on uh, that and put it on there. And then we went to the JDK site by clicking download and went to the JDK site, clicked on um, install for either Windows or Mac and installed it, copied the, um, the uh, file path or went to browse and remember the file path that we saved it in. We went to browse and then we did get an error or I got an error to show you uh, when I clicked on Java. It says couldn't find it so I had to go back click on Java click on the JDK once that's opened up clicked on selected folder and once I did that I closed it out went back to file bill settings switched it we didn't get no errors um, and then I then I showed you how to um, name the, the file on player settings and then we left uh, that's if you Put an image or anything like that on there. Uh, we left that alone, and then um, we typed in com dot the game's name, uh, and then we uh, left left these settings alone. Um, then we went to build. It gave us a message. Uh, use um, and we selected a uh, highest installed, not update. We select highest installed, and then it went ahead and build out the. Uh, the APK file and then we uh, then once then we saved it to a folder so we can retrieve it later and then um, we once it was downloaded we put the SDK onto a device blue stack which I showed you um, and then um, or you you emailed it or to to your friend or to um, a Android device or you click build and run like I said you got that option build and run if you have an Android device already uh, plugged into your PC so uh, that's it that should have worked if you have any if you had any issues uh, um, uh, making it work or anything like that go ahead and uh, comment below 